Hello, Hector. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I uh, a little nervous. A little? A little nervous. Oh, why? A little nervous. For your presentation. Yes, because I I am first. <laughs> okay. It's better now, Hector. If you want, begin now because right now only three people. And maybe <laughs> more people. Huh? Yeah, teacher. But, but I read it. Okay, that's what I like. Remember, Hector, no reading. The important is no reading. Okay, teacher. I understand you. Okay. Excellent. I have the time. One minute. Hector, no audio? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hear you about Cristiano Ronaldo information. Cristiano Ronaldo was born on February 5, 1985. He was, when, when he was a child, he had to share his bedroom and bathroom with with uh, his brother and with two old sisters. He started playing soccer when he when he was a just when he was just eight years. I I am Cristiano Ronaldo fans because he is one of the most famous and and fantastic player source of the world. When he hits the ball, perhaps he make a goal. And I think he is for me. I think he is okay. the most. The most. Very, Hector, very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, good job, Hector. The number one that we have to focus on is the fluency. When you are speaking, you have too many pauses. You are going like this. So, we need to focus in trying to make it more natural. It doesn't have to be fast, but it should be constant, not with different tones. Okay? All right, Hector. Now you have the power. Select the next person, Hector. Okay, teacher. Um, hi, Daniel. How are you? You're the next. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, Hector. I'm fine. Hi, everyone. I hope you have a good day. Um, like uh, yesterday, I told, I told you that I am Panama. Um, is uh, spend all day raining, but uh, furthermore, that is raining. Uh, it's the weather is really hot. But um, I am here in Panama because I make a official mission for my work, and I spend in a meeting with the other colleagues from other ministry of government and of agriculture. Okay. Are you ready with your presentation? Excuse me? Your presentation? My presentation about what? Sorry. The homework from yesterday, Daniel. Oh, sorry. Look, uh, but my connection yesterday, it's it's really bad. And I, I can hear this um, and, and I'm in a few space and it's difficult for me. Um, get all the uh, the presentation is get all the class complete and and i have i, I don't don't do my presentation for this day okay sorry, daniel. Sorry. no problem daniel all right try to do it um and then you can present tomorrow okay daniel all right excellent okay i, I make it the presentation tomorrow sorry perfect sorry. daniel 
Remember the presentation is for one minute. One minute, Daniel. Okay, one minute. Good. Hector, select another person. Okay, teacher. Um, and Ivan Ibrahim. Ivan. Okay, Ivan is ready. Thank you. Good evening, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you about my favorite sport. Uh, this is basketball. I played it 40 years ago in the Informa Institute and in Cervantes in the 80s and 81. I played too much in too much as the teams in that season. And I like it yet play uh, sometimes, but I don't in my years I all oh, yes I I am men all men <laughs> I are all men but uh, my team NBA favorite is the uh, Lakers. Oh, uh, my best team on N NBA is Lakers because how a, okay. a good Thank play. Thank you very much, Ivan. Okay. Right, Ivan. Thank you for trying. It's good. Ivan, the same thing that very nice of you beginning. The most important, Ivan, is for learn that you need to learn how to get a little bit faster when you speak. You start to talk a long story, but you didn't tell us about your main idea. So the important is to try to go faster so that you can explain better, okay? But Ivan, you have the power. So who is the next? Who is the next presentation of one minute? I want to see. Please wait. Xiomara. Xiomara Salazar. You, okay. you are the next. <laughs> the next contestant. Excellent. Okay, uh, Xiomara. Right. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I wanted to talk about the Jurassic Park movie. A Jurassic Park movie is a very a nice movie. It's beautiful for me and interesting because it's about the clone dinosaurs. And, and in the movie, the dinosaur gets violent and escape uh, and put in danger all the visitors in the park. I always amazed about this movie every time I see the I watch the movie and the movie was uh, directed by Steven Spielberg who was the director of ET2 That's all. Ah, and I would like to see the movie all the time with my children uh, the first one uh, I don't know how many movies are of Jurassic Park, but I have, have seen just two of them. Okay. Huh? All right. <laughs> now, yes. Now, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Xiomara. Xiomara, in your case, we need good job. Very nice. A lot of information, Xiomara. You need more vocabulary. You need to give more details because the time and then you, uy, todavía me falta. And then... <laughs> So we need to practice in more details, right? Good, good fluency. Very nice. You are very constant, but it's short in the amount of time that you speak. All right, Xiomara. Who is the next one? Who is the next one, Xiomara? Uh, let's see my screen. Okay, let's see. Gisela. Gisela. Okay, perfect. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Miraculous Ladybug and Shotman. It's a, it's a French cartoon that talks about the life of two teenagers between 14 and 15 years old, Marinette and Adrian, who had to live a double life. The first life being normal teen teenagers and the second life being 
Superheroes of Paris, um, Ladybug and Cat Noir, who fight against the villain. I like this series because I don't feel that it's spe especially for children for different reasons. For example, the, the two reasons why Billen wants to win there to the superhero. Okay, thank you very much. All right, Gisela, what did you say was the name of this? Pardon? What was the name of it? No, no, no. <laughs> what is the name? Ah, Miraculous. Miraculous. And it's French. Sí. Ah, yeah. Good. All right. Okay. I've never seen it. So I, I was just curious. I've never heard of it. Okay. But it's not like a cartoon for children. It's more for adults. Oh, man. So, so. Or like teenagers. Ok, it's ok, Gisela. Es para niños, adultos, adolescentes. It's for children, teenagers, or adults. Pues, especialmente era para, para niños, pero poco a poco, mientras más, evolución, mientras más temporadas, como que va sacando un poquito más oscuro. Mm, ok, all right. Thank you, Gisela. Very nice. Thank you for telling me. All right. Gisela, who is the next person? Mm. Nelly. Nelly. All right, Nelly. Okay. Thank you, Gisela. <laughs> okay. I choose a person and she is Diana. The princess of Wales or Gales? I don't know. Um, she is also called known as Lady D, right? I admire her because she was a person who has a very complicated life. Because I think she was a she left her life to try trying to be a good person and not only with the other people especially with the with her family with her children and she was an um an activist she was a philanthropist and british aristocrat she has two children all of us know that she has. It is time. It is time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nelly. All right, Thank Nelly, you. not too bad. Um, we just have to be careful. You're explaining off a little bit with the Nelly, with the the ideas, just to get your information a little bit faster, so that we can get more information. But good. Um, so she was the. Is it Princess of Wales or Gales or, what is she the princess of? I think it's Wales. The Princess of Wales. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Nelly. Who is the next person? Okay. The next one, it's going to be Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. Perfect. Or let me check. Um, did Rebecca put? Hi, good night. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Um, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite director's movies. Uh, his name is Guillermo del Toro. I like I like the movies for them. The last film he 
producing in 20... Twenty two, uh, he produced was the version of Pinocho. Um, it's a for me, it's a unique way of presentation. Uh, he presented in a movie, and the adaption, the films, is very well and also sad. I, I don't think that movie is for child because it's, it's very impressionating. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rebe. Good job trying. Um, it's good that you're describing Guillermo de Toro. We just have to be careful with the vocabulary. Some of the words are not correct, but it's similar. It's similar. So. It's presenting, not presentating, presenting, okay? Uh, it's not, a, and the movie is not good for children. Um, Rebecca, did you like the movie? Yes, I like. I haven't seen it, but I saw it. It looked like a cartoon. So then I said, I know. No, I, no, I don't want to watch cartoons, but it's good. Yes, you need to see it. That is very sad and it's, it's very um, what's this? Muy fuerte. Very strong. It's very strong. Yes, uh, it's a it's a it's a version. Um, I I can say it in Spanish that. Okay, maybe Rebecca, go ahead. <laughs> Tell me, we can help you. Go ahead. Es una, yo sé que Pinocho es una fantasía, pero Guillermo del Toro la ha adaptado a pesar de que sea como marioneta, como en dibujo, es bastante fuerte y dura la película porque desde el principio habla acerca de la muerte y para un niño eh, fue bastante impactante para los niños ver esa película. Es más para adultos, pero es muy bonita la versión que ha hecho de, de Pinocho. Ok, Rebe. Good. Very nice, Rebe. Thank you for trying to share with us. All right. The same, the more you practice in English, the same you're going to speak like in Spanish. <risa> And you're going to speak super fast in English. Only you need to practice. All right, Rebe, who's next? David. David Isaac. All right. Okay, I'm going to talk about some of music, the, my favorite musicians or the best singer in for me, I'm going to talk about Andrea Bocelli. Andrea Bocelli was born in September of 22 September of 1958. And um, he was born with a visually incapacity. He has a, he has a congenital um, uh, glaucoma, and when he was uh, twelve, he he have a a very an accident, and the accident um, the following the following of the accident the brain uh, collapsed with an hemorrhage, and resulting of that accident he was blind. I like Andrea Bocelli because he, for me, is the... Thank you very the, much, David. Okay. Okay, very good. David, good job. Most of it, very nice. And we're going to focus a little bit more on the pronunciation, making sure we're okay. good, but very nice. All, All right. right. Um, what is your favorite song from um, Bocelli? The Prayer. The What's prayer. up in the end? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Who okay. is the next person, David? Well, we have Flor, Gabriel, Carla, Jocelyn. Carla, Carla, Carla. Barrera. Okay, let's go with Carla. The gamer. <laughs> and Carla, Carla, the gamer, Carla, Alicia. Because also <laughs> Carla, Elena. So we have both, no problem. Good evening. Good evening. I, uh, my favorite part is 
swimming. I be became interested in learning to swim because 17 years ago, I almost drowned. I, um, I started practicing at the university, but I have practiced a bit and I need to practice the breathing technique. I, for me, it's very relaxing when I float in the pool and see the sky. And I, I like to slide into sliding pool and swim from one side to the pool to other side. That's it. <laughs> Mm, Carla, ¿qué pasó? What happened? What happened, Carla? Why did you stop speaking? Ah, voy a dejar que el tiempo se acabe mejor así. Mm, mm. What happened, Carla? More vocabulary, right? More vocabulary. A pesar de estar hablando lento, more vocabulary. We have to do the two. Faster and more details. More getting, getting that, all right? Okay, Carly. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, Carla, who's next? We have Flor, Gabriel, Carla, the, the other Carla, and Jocelyn. Carla Elena. Carla Elena. Okay, let's go with Carla Elena. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to talk about my favorite TV series. I got excited about watching that TV series because I enjoy romantic gender. That TV series is Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris is a series in which the main characters are Emily and, and Gabriel, who fall in love with each other. At the beginning of this series, um, Emily is a girl who traveled to Paris which is located in France. And she traveled there for working. And, um, and she's an advertising who works in a big enterprise called Sawa. Uh, she has started a new life of the series. Uh, uh, she started a new life uh, alone in the series because thank you very much carla all right i like it. very nice carla carla is good ideas for what you want to describe in the vocabulary but carla you have to be careful with your pauses when you are speaking you stop and then you speak and you stop you need to make sure that you don't stop in the middle of the sentence okay okay teacher all right. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you. Who is next, Carla? Um, Gabriel, Flor, or Jocelyn? Uh, the next is Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Okay. Let me see. I think... Uh huh. Jocelyn. Está comiendo pupusas. Uh huh. I think so. I think Jocelyn is maybe at work. I don't remember if Jocelyn had. A problem that uh -huh, she connect, but okay, Jocelyn. Okay, si no vas a poder participar, así como en el caso de Ada, siempre pone oyente al principio para así no confundirnos. Y sabemos que no hay problema, que solo estás de oyente, pero así ya sabemos para el futuro. En cada clase que entras, ponete oyente si es que estás en trabajo, conduciendo o cualquier cosa para, para Jocelyn o para cualquier persona, no hay ningún problema. Pero a veces es más fácil solo poner oyente. Okay? Thank you. All right. So, 
Who is next? Uh, let's go with Flor. All right, Flor, go for it. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to talk about a very famous uh, man in Mexico. It's Eugenio Derbez. It's a very recognized actor in also he appears in many fields around United States and he's recognized also for his voice in some cartoons like uh, the donkey in Shrek. And also he has a very famous series called Col La Familia Peluche. I think in English is the family. And also he's very popular uh, feel uh, that it's named No Reforms. I have seen that movie before and it's kind of funny. Not much, but I tried to get some fun when I saw that film Le last year I saw with my family. And he has very uh, popular TV shows in TV. And that's pretty much. <laughs> that's pretty much. All right, explored. <laughs> very nice, good idea. Consistent, trying to describe, very nice, okay. Good, we got, uh, what was his name? Eugenio, me, teacher. No, 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 the, the actor's name. Ah, Eugenio Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. I didn't know the name, but I, I know the movie. I know the movie, ah. uh -huh. so, okay. Thank you very much. And the last presentation today is Gabriel. Gabriel, are you ready? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Uh, All right, Gabriel, <coughs> let's do it. Uh, <coughs> My artist is a sing a singer. Is is the Javier Ibarra Ramos, better known by his stage name KCO. Is a Spanish rapper, composer, and producer. Member, no, member of the Spanish rap group. Violadores del Verso, a long white rapper, so high and lyrical, and the DJ Air from Rumba. <clears throat> he is considered one of the best now, best now Spanish speaking rappers by the community and the media. He has been active from uh, 19. And I three <laughs> to the present being an icon and benchmark of a Spanish rapper. <clears throat> then in, in 2011, he, he reality uh, KCO Jazz Moy Jackson and album to bring hip hop. And jazz. All okay. right, Gabriel. thank you very much. It's very good that you're trying and you're preparing. Uh, it's, it's good, Gabriel. It's a good idea. Uh, I have to be honest, Gabriel. Suena como que si leyendo lo estabas. Ah, uh, <laughs> es que no me lo acuerdo. No, no me lo morí, me morí, se bien. Yo tenía una, una duda, teacher. Lo estabas leyendo, Gabriel. Una parte, nada más. Uh -huh. no. Sí, la duda era que si lo podías leer o no, o, o cuál era la duda. No, era sobre una palabra, no sé cómo se dice solitario en inglés. Ah, he likes to be alone. Be alone. Be alone. Ah, ok. Ok, bueno. All right, Gabriel. Let me, let me explain a little bit. It's good, it's good that you're trying, Gabriel, and you prepare and you're writing. Very nice. El problema es que cuando tú estás leyendo y no hablando, ya tú no hablas normal. Tu forma de lectura te estás preocupando por decir las cosas. Entonces ya eliminas las intonaciones, eliminas la parte que hace la diferencia entre un robot leerlo como Siri que le pongo a Siri, léeme el artículo. Y Siri me lo va a leer sin tono, me lo va a leer la información, ¿verdad? En cambio, cuando tú hablas, hay tonos altos, bajos, la parte, 
lo más importante, Gabriel, es usar el vocabulario que tú sabes, no el vocabulario que estás rebuscando. Usar vocabulario para que te sienta cómodo para explicártelo. ¿Okay? Imagínate que no estuviera en una clase y estamos en la playa y yo te pregunto, hey, Gabriel, tell me about the, the Spanish rapper. El, ¡Ah! eh, baje, no vas a decir, permíteme, voy a ir a preparar y a escribirlo. Only use your words. ¿Ok, Gabriel? Ok, teacher. Good. Eso te va a ayudar para poder hablar más natural. That's going to be. Y eso es lo que queremos. Al final queremos que hables naturalmente. Speak naturally. No problem. The mistakes are normal, but to speak naturally. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, great presentations. You see, <gasps> yesterday you are worried. One minute. And the one minute... Finish quickly, right? It's very fast, the one minute. It's two TikToks and... Ya, terminó. Okay. So, what is the most important? The most important is... Acostúmbrese a hablar más y más rápido. La mismo minuto, pero hay diferencia. Es como ir al parque, a hacer ejercicios, a correr. Tú puedes correr por 30 minutos, pero solo vas caminando prácticamente y te vas a tardar una, un, vas a hacer un kilómetro en 30 minutos y hay otra gente que van corriendo, corriendo, corriendo y en, en lo mismo 30 vas a hacer 5 kilómetros la idea es encontrar un balance para que no sea tan lento a la hora de hablar ni tan rápido que vos cometes más errores ok ¿Cómo puedes mejorarlo? Súper fácil. Toma la misma información. Hoy, lo que estás hablando, toma de base cuántas oraciones pudiste decir en lo, el minuto. Para que tengas una idea, cuántas oraciones dice alguien hablando despacio, pero nativo en inglés. 16 oraciones. 16 oraciones es tu meta. Eso es no vas a ser rápido como un rapero, como estaba hablando Gabriel, pero ya se te va a escuchar normal una plática normal con un, alguien que es nativo a la hora de hablar. Entonces, si hoy vos dijiste, uy, dije cinco oraciones, te faltan once. Si hoy dijiste doce oraciones, te faltan cuatro. Y así te puedes medir tú mismo qué tanto va progresando tu fluidez. ¿Ok? Any questions? No? Excellent. Good. Now we're going to continue with our part, our platform. Today we're going to finish the platform for unit three. We have two exercises that we're going to do today. Super easy. We're going to do the knowledge check. Okay. We're in the, this one 3.10. We're going to put the words with for who, that, which. We're going to take the two sentences and make one sentence. Remember, we're going to use who, that, or which. Depend the context, right? Those are the ones that we're going to use. Here, combine number one, two, three, and four. Then, with your partners, you're going to read the article if you want. You can make it bigger, simply open in the other window, and then you can make it much bigger for you to read and to be easier. After you and your partner read, you and your partner have to answer the six questions that we have. Here we have six. What are we going to do is where do we find this information? Okay. This information, she hated going to school, but always loved it. Where can we put or locate this information in the context? So two activities, one writing, write and put the two sentences in one. And number two, reading, read the paragraph and select where this information is better. It's okay. Any questions? It's okay, teacher. 
Okay, great. We are going to have, for the two activities, we are going to have 12 minutes, okay? So you and your partners have 12 minutes to complete the two activities. Sorry. Let me try one more. Okay, let's try it one more time. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. David, did you have problems connecting? Yeah, yes, I don't know what happened with my computer today. Okay, let me try again. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. Eh, mi compañera solo está de oyente. Sí, y es que tenés otros, pero veo que como que le está costando entrar. Creo que tienen problema de internet. Um, David tenía que ser tu compañero y también Nelly. Entonces, lo que voy a hacer es mejor te voy a pasar a otra sala para que puedas participar con ellos en vez de estar esperando que ellos se unen a ti. Ok, teacher, gracias. De nada. No se va a ninguno. Luis Ankle. Yes, the point, <laughs> the apostrophe and the point should be the problem. What was the problem? The apostrophe here uh, mm -hmm. and the point at the final in the center. Mm -hmm. 
The second one, how you have two more stars in the deep. He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Or is that... he's a movie director that made the film? Yes, it was a great mm. movie that was quite good. Put the, that only only means the only yes. Like that. Yes. Put the house. It's an actual movie. Okay. What? 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 I saw you to ask where typing for don't forget it. That's that. Yes, there is someone. Alt plus thirty thirty nine. Thirty nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Platform. Okay, let me if I. Okay. The first question. Okay. Question okay. In this part, is number. Uh, you can see my my screen. Yes, I can see. The number three point. Okay. Three point. Let me wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is three point four. Who's the movie? I think because we have the name in in upstairs. The first one is who? Yes. Who? Yes. But put all the sentence. He's a movie director who he made the film Hulk. My laptop don't give me the apostle. No. We oh, see you. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you need Thank to you. put Thank only you. his. He's a movie director who made the film oh. Hulk. Who is a movie director? No, 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 no. Quit the word who. Who is in the middle? Yeah, you only need to the put point. he. He is. I I don't know this item. <laughs> okay, this is the 3.10. And they write, rewrite the answers using the relative clauses. You have to write a whole sentence. Remember, you may use who or that for people in which or that for thing. For example, who is Ang Lee? He's a movie director. He made a film Hulk. Hulk. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Or he's a movie director that made the film Hulk. Hulk. Tenemos que usar who or what cuando se trata de una persona. Y which or that cuando son cosas. Entonces, so in the first one, in this uh, number one, who is Al? That star, Johnny, no, because it's their person. <laughs> Okay. 
Aquí ya le cambié la posta y tampoco. With which it doesn't function, right? No. Which? It's an action moving that start. Maybe it's in past. Started Johnny Deep. The verb start, maybe, I don't know. Okay, make it bigger, let me see. No. Okay, it's at the beginning, what do you have? It's. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. But in the sentence, not begin with it, the sentence begins with yes. Yes, comma. Mm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes. Uh huh. It's and then the verb is in the like starts, no starting. Uh huh. Base. Mm -hmm. Johnny Deep. There you go. You see? Only little mistakes. And Very then cool. the other is the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a great book. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the first one. I see that we almost finished. The, this one, uh, I see that we didn't remember too much. Some of us, we forgot how to make it. It's super easy, really, really. It's super easy to make two, to make the two sentences in one sentence. As an example. Teacher. Yes, yes, Yamara. Yes, and we always have problems with the apostrophe. Uh, that's what I made uh, before. All of the sentences was were wrong, but at the end I realized that the apostrophe was different. Yes, sometimes it's different on the computer. For me, the technique is this, Yomara. For me, when I'm not sure, copy. I vengo. Lo copio, copy, yeah. and copy paste. paste. And that's uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then you go here. He's a movie director. Okay. Copy. And then that's it. That way you don't have any complications. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then look. Sure. Yes. Uh and Samara, if you can try the what is a tecla teacher? Keyboard? Teacher. The keyboard. Oh, okay. The keyboard is up uh the letter P or the next to the letter of the number zero. The you keyboard. press that keyboard. Alt there. alt. No, no, no. Only only press your keyboard and then you can continue right. This this is uh, for me. This is the record from in my in my, in my PC. Yeah, it's up. It's upper the letter P. And next to zero. Yes, yes. The next to zero. Okay, so let me show you the technique here. 
He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. I copy, I paste, super easy. I eliminate he, and I put who. Yes. Wow. That's it, because we are talking about a person. The next one, I come, I copy, I paste. What are we talking about? A movie. Ah, so the movie. I eliminate it, and that's it. The next, I come, I copy, the same technique, I paste. We are talking about a girl. So what do I put? Who? Who? Who, exactly. I eliminate, and I put who? The next, I come, I copy. We are talking about a book. What do I put? That. That. So I eliminate it and that. And then I can check my answers. Hey, look, that's correct answer. Who? So easy, teacher. That. <laughs> but for me, it was very complicated. I couldn't do that. <laughs> no problem. I tried many ways and I couldn't. But that's why I show you the new technique. Because sometimes you try to put this apostrophe and the problem is the apostrophe. So the next time you have another technique on how to improve. It's not that the answer is wrong. Only that is the keyboard sometimes that is the problem, not the answer. You have the right answer, only the wrong Teacher, keyboard. Teacher, this is a similar like artificial intelligence. <laughs> similar artificial intelligence, similar. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, great. Now we're going to go to the next activity, right? Teacher, I'm um, sorry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't understand very well the... the... This part, I don't know if you can explain in another way. Of course. When you are talking about extra information, okay, we use who, that, or which. The function of this is to give more information. As an example, Nelly is my student. Nelly is married to David. Nelly is my student. Who is married to David? Two sentences in one, but I use who. Okay. So we are going to use who only with person and that for the other things. No. You are going to use who for people. You are going to use which for things, and you're going to use that for both people or things. Okay. It's okay? Yes, I think I need to practice. No problem, no problem. Hector, you had a question? What teacher, that is I say. Okay, very good. Now, what are we going to do? Now you're going to practice the reading. In this moment, with your partners, well, let's read together because we have a few minutes. Let's try together. We have six paragraphs and it's the magic of Potter. I need six volunteers. Who is going to read paragraph number one? Who is paragraph number Me, one? Teacher. Okay, who's Flor. in? Floor. Floor, floor number one. Okay, number two, who's number two? Me. I don't know who's me. Teacher. Me, number three. The teacher, Daniel. Okay, teacher Daniel, number number two. Ivan. Number four, me. Ajá, todos van a decir mí, no voy a saber quién es. Todos son mí. Ah, there you go, all right. Ivan, here I am, Ivan. Who's number three? Number three. Me. 
Who is me? Xiomara, can I, okay. can I read it? Xiomara, number three, and okay. So number one is? Flor. Flor, okay. Number two? Nadia, number two. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Me teacher, number two. Okay, Daniel, number two. Number three? Yes. Yo teacher. Who's Me number am. three? Yo teacher, Ivan. Ivan, okay, Ivan, number three. Okay. Who's number four? Hector. Hector, number four. Good. Number five? Nelly. Nelly, perfect. And number six? Hey, babe. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Number one. There was a time, sorry, teacher, there is a, a word open with, I can see the next, okay. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student at Hogwarts School of witchcraft and with Sadrai are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even Asian Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. Thank you. Good. Number two. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 90, 1965. For a young age, she knew she wanted to be a reader. When she had six, she wrote her first history about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. Okay, thank you. Number three. Here we go, teacher. After graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hour writing, writing stories, mainly for adults. Then in 1990, on a train trip up to London, she got the idea for the vice wizard. She said he just appeared in her hill. In her hill, she saw created a world cast of unique characters to help Harry battle the forces of darkness. Okay. Thank you. Number four. She keeps working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married, had her first child, and divorced a year late. When she returned to England, she brought, she brought back, back a suitcase of Harry Potter story. Thank you very much. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small, cramped apartment. She continued writing and in 1995 finished the first book in the series. Harry Potter and the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. It was published in 1997 and became an unexpected bestseller. Thank you. And the last. Hello. Okay. Rowling's life has changed dramatically. She has become international famous and now earned around 40 millions a year. She remarried, had a second child, and currently lives in Scotland. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so here, any tomorrow we're going to go ahead? Okay, no problem, Floyd. Goodbye. 
Tomorrow we're going to con continue. We're going to answer the questions and we're going to begin the exam tomorrow. Okay? I see, Daniel, you have a question? No, no, only I hope to the connection tomorrow will be okay. Okay. Remember, Daniel, tomorrow you have a presentation, one minute about a, a sport, an artist, a movie, something that you like and explain why. That's it. Something you like and why. Okay, copy. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys for connecting. Thank you for participating. And I see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Amo, Daniel. <laughs>